Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you, welcome back to a First Descendant video and today I'm gonna show you how to unlock the ultimate weapon, the Thunder Cage. We can unlock this pretty early on within the game and we only have to collect four research materials, what are pretty easy to get. And before we can start unlocking this, make sure that you can enter Sterile Land. And within Sterile Land, we can find all the four pieces to craft this Thunder Cage. And for the first piece within Sterile Land, we need to go to Rockfall. For Rockfall, we can unlock the Polymer Synthesis, or however you like to pronounce that, while playing the external reactor, and again, within Rockfall. Rockfall is the left area within Sterile Lands, and we only have to defeat this external reactor. We can do this pretty fast, but there is a little catch behind it, as there is a 20% drop chance for this first piece. So you might want to play it a couple of times, and then of course, after the activity is done, whenever you completed it, make sure to check your rewards and if the polymer synthesis is in there. Then for the second piece, we need to find the synthetic fiber and we can find it in the repository again within sterile lands. This is the middle area on the right side. The Kuiper mine activity again is a very quick and easy activity to do. It only sets you back a couple of minutes, but again, it has a 20% drop chance to give you that synthetic fiber. So you might want to play it a couple of times and again, after you completed this activity make sure to check your rewards if you get this fiber and then we're going for the third piece the nanotubes we can unlock this while playing the high powered jammer and we can find this in the restricted zone the restricted zone is the area all the way down in sterile lands i will highlight it for you and then we only have to play the high powered jammer again it's pretty easy it's pretty fast and you have a 20% drop chance again. So whenever you complete the high powered jammer, make sure to check your rewards if you got the nanotubes. And now that we collected the first three pieces, now it's time to hunt down the blueprint to craft this beautiful ultimate weapon. For the blueprint, we need to complete the logistics facility and we can find that in the ironworks area and the ironworks areas on the top right of sterile lands. The logistic facility again gives us a 20% chance to get this blueprint. But luckily, just like all the other activities, it only sets you back just a couple of minutes, but it has a 20% drop chance. So again, make sure when you complete this activity, check out your rewards if you got that blueprint rewarded to you. If we got all the rewards, you know how it works, we need to travel back to Albion, we need to walk up to Anise, Anise will help us with all the blueprints for the descendants, for the special materials and of course for the ultimate weapons, what we are building towards right now. It is the ultimate weapon, the Thunder Cage. When we walk up to Anise, of course, hit up the research request. And as you can see, the Thunder Cage is already recommended to me. So you can just instantly click on that. Or of course, go to weapons. And then that first weapon, the first ultimate weapon is the Thunder Cage. And as you can see, we collected everything. And then we can start a research request. It only requires you to be a mastery rank level one. And the research only sets you back 100,000 gold. And that's the in-game currency. When we research this request, you see it takes up to four hours to craft this. You can of course use Calibre, the premium credits within the game, to speed up this crafting and instantly get it gifted to you. And that's pretty much it. A quick and easy video how to unlock one of the first ultimate weapons in the game and it's pretty damn easy. And of course, hit me up in the comments down below if you already have this gun. Do you like this gun and have you been using it 
Or did you craft it and skip over it because there are some other weapons that you enjoy a little bit more in the first descendant? I would love to know your opinion, but that's it for me. Thank you very much for sticking until the end. Like the video if it helped you out in any way or form, or of course, you like the video. And if you're new here and or you want to be updated by the first descendant, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you in the next one. Pure Prime out.